ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So I want to talk about Krishan and Blueface a little bit more. There's, they're still going through a bunch of drama today. It's a mess. But I want to, I think there's some important lessons for young girls that I want to point out. Let me see if he's tweeted anything since. Okay. Not since seven hours ago. So they were still going back and forth this morning. So we're going to start with this video of uh, Blueface saying that Krishan makes the roof of his mouth itch. Let's go ahead and watch this. So let's let's see here. Let me click on this. First, he said this. Remember a bird gonna chase anybody with bread. So he was talking about Krishan there. And then let's go ahead and click on this child. Hold on. Hate this bitch cause bitch make the roof of my mouth is. <laughs> Hate this bitch, cuz bitch make the roof of my mouth is. <laughs> Hate this bitch, cuz bitch make the roof of my mouth is. <laughs> the bitch unplugged the Wi Fi thinking the smoke detector was gonna turn off. Oh my god. Bitch, you unplugged the Wi Fi, cat? Bitch, you unplugged the Wi Fi thinking the smoke detector was gonna turn off. Oh my god. Bitch, you unplugged the Wi Fi, cat? Bitch, you unplugged the Wi Fi thinking the smoke detector was gonna turn off. And of course, you know, his fans are laughing and you know, he's the funniest guy on social media. So now let's go to her page. Well, actually, let's go to his Instagram page. Let me share this. This is his Instagram page. Some of this is music, so I can't play it. I guess he's starting a new restaurant, so people are lighting him up in the comments. Uh, blues, Fish, and Soul. I, I, I wouldn't eat there. Their house, the way they keep their house laundry piled up, I can only imagine what the restaurant looks like. So they're cussing them out in the comments here. You know, people going hard for Krishan. So let me go to his, uh, this is what I notice. Every time they argue where it goes viral, they always have some type of project to promote. So this is his stories. YouTube video, he promoted that seven hours ago. I'm keeping it on mute just because the music. Hello, good morning, bitch. How you doing today? New video on YouTube. And yeah, I think he has music playing. Make the money flip. Uh, yeah, this loud, ratchet, crit music. Um, here he's bragging about doing it. I woke up this morning thinking about what I'm gonna draw today. GT. Yeah, still can't rap on beat. Showing off his latest jewelry piece. This was two hours ago. So now we're going to go ahead and visit her page. So this is her page. And I follow her. So she pops up on my timeline. She was promoting new music as well. Stop for your name. We can't play her music here, but she's promoting new music. People are telling her she's the star. Make your own money. Build, you know, happiness and foundation for your baby. Um, all these people who are wasting their energy posting, you know, well wishes. Um, then I went to her stories today and I found this interesting. She's at your music, moment. And she's talking about writing. So that's music playing, more music, promoting her music video, just like the baby dad, promoting some motivational stuff. I found this. this Are y'all seriously singing? It's the vibe all the Y'all remember when that teacher called in? 
when I did my teacher Colin show the, the young girl actually what she was a daycare she worked with like preschool kids and she was saying that so many of these young kids are coming in mimicking bad girls club mimicking baddies west singing Krishan songs and and I was shocked because she's literally talking about three four five-year-olds and then Krishan posts a teacher who is posting a video of preschoolers in her classroom singing it's a vibe all the time this wasn't one kid singing it this is the, the entire class I heard little boy voices, little girl voices. <sighs> Why are the parents allowing their children to even know who Krishan and Blueface are? Like these aren't teenagers, these are babies singing it's a vibe all the time. And the song is a bop, don't get me wrong. These are kindergartners. I, like, I was just like, it just reminded me of that call. And then we'll cry that the, you know, the kids are acting a, a fool and fighting and acting a mess, but you're allowing your kids to watch Baddies West and Bad Girls Club and to sit there and watch all the fuckery that's going down on social media with Krishan and Blueface. It just blew me away when I heard that. Because like I said, it wasn't like, I can see if it was just one kid that got up in the middle of class and was like, it's a vibe. Or, the entire class was singing it. Meaning all these kids are damn corrupt. Like, what the hell is going on here? You know, but now what I find very interesting, and the reason why I'm bringing them up again, is that I'm starting to notice a pattern. When they want to fight and bicker and, and get into it, it seems like they're, they also use all those eyeballs to then promote a project. Last time they got into a really big fight, then they ended up promoting that video where they were making it seem like they were getting married. I forgot the name of the video. And now he's promoting his music. She's promoting, promoting her music. And I feel like there's some clout involved in all of this nonsense. Granted, he's extremely disrespectful to her, but she also knew what time it was. I also see a lot of like sympathy towards her plight, right? Cause nobody wants to see a young pregnant woman being disrespected like this constantly on social media. It's heartbreaking. And it's also triggering for people because the way they talk so casually about taking this child's life, it, it's really disturbing. And it's just like, do y'all not realize that y'all are talking about a human being? The fact that every other day, it's almost like, Will Krishan abort today? It's, it's literally turned into some type of joke on social media. Will she keep the baby? Will she abort the baby? As if we're not talking about a person who really could one day breathe air and live on earth. The fact that he's constantly telling her to abort and she's saying, fuck that baby. I might abort. I might not. It's really a disturbing thing to watch. But what I've noticed is that a lot of people have forgotten how these two even got together. And somehow that's been missed on a lot of people. And this is what I want young women to realize. The same way you get them is one, how you lose them. But see, when you're cool with being the side chick, because see, we promote this whole side chick culture. I took your man, I'm a baddie, I'm that girl. There's something wrong with you. And she was a very, very proud side chick. She would sit around and make fun of Jaden Alexis. She would wallow and, and glee in Jaden Alexis misery. Remember Jaden Alexis is not only his baby's mother, she's been with Blueface since they were like in junior high, high school. They have been together since before the fame. And Krishan, with the help of Blueface, of course, helped to destroy that relationship. And she found glee in it. So let me, you know, and, and I like Krishan, but I, I you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm biased. I'm gonna call it how it is. And people forget these videos. 
you know, while they're going back and forth and it's very disturbing, people forget the glee that she took in disrespecting another woman. And I don't care if Alexis, Jada and Alexis is white, black, Mexican. That m means nothing to me. She's still another woman. Um, so let me go ahead and just share this. So this was her, I believe maybe two years ago. And this person um, keeps receipts on their mess. And I can't really, oh, I'm gonna be a wife for you. I'm gonna be this for you one day. I'm gonna have your child. Why the fuck you wanna have a child with a nigga that don't wanna put just his dick in you, bro? I'm just saying, if they only like, that's just me. Like, say if y'all slip up, whoop de whoop de whoop de you nigga go get that abortion, bro. You gonna be over here tripping like a dumbass. Oh, cause it's the baby that brought his clothes. Bitch, you didn't have to have that baby, bro. And you looking out for yourself cause you thought smaller. Unless that nigga just said, don't get rid of my baby, whoop de whoop de whoop. But I still don't understand why we can listen. I, I can't really, oh, I'm gonna be a wife for you. I'm gonna be this for you one day. Do a little bit of. And this is why it's hard for me to really feel bad. All these people go into her page with all these words of advice. Did y'all give the same words of advice when she was the other woman? And this is why I say this all the time. There's no sisterhood when it comes to women. There's no real sisterhood. It's, you know, I'm the bad bitch. I, I'm going to take your man. I don't care if that's your man. He's mine now. So, you know, the internet never forgets. When Alexis Jade was going through it and he was sleeping with both of them, she thought it was funny. She was calling Alexis Jade stupid for having another baby with Blueface when he's clearly not faithful to her. And now look how it's playing out on social media where he's calling her stupid and telling her to get an abortion and saying, I don't really plan on being there for you or this baby. So again, ladies, be, care, be careful whose misery you, you, you know, delight in and take glee in because that may be the same bed that you're making for yourself in the future. Because a lot of people thought this was cute when she was, when she was doing this to another woman. And now that the same karma, right? Because the same way you get them is how you lose them. Because, see, the baby's mother is always the bad guy. She's crazy. She's not shit. He's going to tell you all that because he wants some ass. But now we see he's the common denominator. But you thought your cooch, your youth, and whatever else was going to be something different for him. And you've basically gotten the same man that Alexis Jade had. And a lot of women do this. It's sad. A lot of women do this and they find themselves in the same boat. That's why I said after a while, it's hard for me to find sympathy. Now when they go viral, I simply yawn. I'm going to cover it because it's viral and that's what I do on this channel. But it's hard for me to, to have a whole lot of sympathy for this clown show because that's what it is. It's a clown show at this point. And they're using this baby as a storyline. This whole abortion narrative like this is supposed to be funny or cute. She was telling another girl a year ago, two years ago, to have an abortion. So again, ladies, be careful how you come into your relationship with your man. Be careful taking glee in the destruction of another woman's relationship. Because now she's out here being embarrassed in the same way she was helping to embarrass Jaden Alexis a year, two years ago. But y'all not ready for that conversation. And I think that's the part, you know, and that's why I wanted to kind of speak on this a little bit more, because I think that's the part that a lot of women are missing is that, you know, there's not a real sisterhood and people are only feeling bad because they like Krishan. And they thought it was cute when Krishan was doing it to somebody else. And now that it's being done to Krishan, now it's like, oh, well, everybody has to have all this sympathy for her. No, they don't. Because she took glee in another woman's, you know, 
misery and, and heartache. Yeah. So at the end of the day, be careful how you get into relationships with these men. Be careful, you know, with this side chick mentality being, you know, gleeful about breaking up a so-called happy home. Um, because again, you can be in that same situation. And, and this is a song as old as time. Krishan, Alexis, and Blueface are not in, you know, they're not doing anything new. It's just a clown show for Twitter. It's a bit more extreme because they keep screaming about abortions. But we watched this play out with Peter Guns, Tara Wallace, and Amina Butterfly. You know, and Amina loved being the side chick, thought she was that girl when she took Peter from Tara, only to find out that she got the same man that Tara had. We got to do better. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.